Hey guys, today I will be doing a review on the um, Dreamcatcher frame from Micromotor Warehouse with the Hubzin X4 electronics installed. As you can see, um, it makes it really, really cool looking. And here's the old Hubzin frame. So you can see uh, just a size comparison. I'll put this on top of it. You can see it does make it um, a little bit larger. So this is um, this is kind of in, in between size of a larger and more of a micro like the Hubs and X4 is. And a couple things you might um, notice that I've changed from my, if you watched my how-to video, my build video, I put the circuit board on top because I had it underneath and I, I'm not sure, like, and then I, I had the battery on top for the video and I was testing that out and it just wasn't working too well. So then I, I saw a couple, uh, some other person that did this and I saw they had put it on top. So I put it on top and put my battery underneath. Um, like most quads are normally like that, and the hubs in, the hubs in's like that. The circuit board's on top, and the battery's underneath it. And that um, because it was flying pretty weird, and it just wasn't the gyro wasn't working too well. So I um, I did that, and now it, it was flying pretty well. The um, it's a lot quieter. This frame um, it reduces this this outer portion vibrates, but the inner portion I've touched it like I've been flying and I'm held it by the inner portion and it's almost completely vibrationless so it helps the gyro fly a lot better. Um, um, with these batteries I've been using the original Hubzin battery. Um, I got about five minutes flight um, and then I about at five minutes it hit LVC and you probably have a minute of flight after that. And then I've also been trying out with my Ishin X6 battery just because it's a little bit bigger and I've been getting um, nine to ten minutes with this. and. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you guys any flight footage because while I was testing it, as you can see, the motors, it just lands straight on the motors. And um, just me moving around stuff in here. Um, I've broken a couple of these rubber bands. You can see this one's tied, actually. Um, so I'm glad that Micro Motor Warehouse sends you two extras. They've been helpful. I just don't have the other one on right now. Um, and just moving around these wires, um, this one... These broke out of the motor and I can't get them back in like there's nowhere to solder on to because it's just plastic up top. But if any, any of you know any technique or method that I could get these back in there and get this motor working again, um, I'd, I'd like to know and please tell me because I don't want to have to buy new a new motor just to fly with these, this setup. And I've also, in my build video, I took these little LEDs that come on the hubs in. And I just put a drop of hot glue out there, and that was working good, but as I was moving stuff around, um, I found that the wires kept breaking off the circuit board, so then I'd have to take this apart and take this um, this cross-section apart to get the circuit board to solder them back on. And same thing with the wires, I've had a lot of them break off, so you want to be careful when you're moving this, not just this, if you're moving the circuit board around, not to stretch it too much in either direction. And while I was soldering, um, as you can see, the circuit board is not completely level. It's because on this side, I didn't have any wires break, but over here, when I re-soldered, um, there's a little glob there, and that makes the circuit board not level, so it, it didn't, that made it fly a little bit weird. Um, in terms of flight characteristics, it, it has um, quite a bit more power, because um, it's a bit lighter, I feel, than the original frame, just these two pieces. And um, the lights look really cool on it. You st I still have the two um, he um, headlights, the two eyes on the circuit board, because you can't get rid of those. Um, the battery, just you just take these two rubber bands and you just um, rubber band it under here. I'll show you here. Just rubber band that, and then it just stays in there, and that's it's not going to move anywhere with these two rubber bands, um, but it will pop out in flight, or not in flight, but in a hard crash. I've had it pop out, but that's not a big problem. Um, and these motors also pop out. If you have a hard crash, this frame is extremely flexible. I'm not doing much here just so I don't break the motor wires anymore. But this thing flexes really a lot under a hard impact. It's still rigid and firm for flight, but in an impact it will flex. Oops. And these motors, when it flexes, these little, they just clip in here. They're not even um, like soldered in or anything. They're just, they just clip into this these outside portions and you can move them up and down to position them but I found that the best position is right in the middle and 
Um, so if you're doing this, be really careful about these wires. I put a drop of hot glue on each of these um, as they are, so maybe that'll help with, uh, maybe that'll help keep the wires from breaking off. And I've also, I did um, a little thing here. I took these four erasers. I got two oranges and two yellows. You can buy these really cheap, and I took them, and I put, I just put them over, over and I cut a little slit with a razor blade to let the wires through, to let the wires come out of the side of the eraser so it doesn't put so much strain on the top by pulling them down because they're not long enough for that. And then I just put these over here. Put this one on here. There we go, and then I think that looks pretty pretty cool there. Kind of little landing feet for this, and it gives it a nice high appearance, which um, lets you be able to use the X6 battery even easier because there's tons of extra room there to put that battery in there. So that's really nice. But and these um, made it actually a lot more stable. I found that maybe because of canceling out some vibrations, and they made it a lot quieter. And I actually haven't been using these this with the um, Hubs and X4 props because mine are really. They're really chipped up, and it was making a super, super loud clicking and clanking noises just because they're so, they're so um, chipped up and stuff. So I've just been using the props off the JJRC 1000A. That's why I don't have them on right now. And these erasers, um, like I said, they make it a lot more stable and super, super quiet. Um, but the they do take some about two minutes off the flight time on each battery. So you get about seven minutes with this battery, and you get about three minutes with this battery. So um, I feel like they take a little bit too much of a flight time off for me, so I haven't been using these recently. And, um, let's see, uh, like I said, it makes it super quiet, you get more power, and I think it looks really cool. And you can set this up different ways, like you, did, you can do different things with rubber bands, like the way you put them on, and you can position the motors. And I actually um, plan to try to flip the motors upside down and put the props on backwards so you have downward facing props but still get uplift and you can't do that with a normal quad because if, if you put them backwards so it get uplift but then you flip it upside down you also flip the circuit board upside down so it's going to constantly as soon as you give it throttle it's going to try and flip it back over whichever way it wants to but with this since you can move the motors individually you could have them downward facing but still have the upward facing circuit board so i'm going to try that out with my JJRC1000A electronics since this motor's gone. And like I said, if you know how to fix this, um, please let me know down in the comments. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about it. It's just a really nice frame from Micromotor Warehouse. Um, it was $15 with $4 shipping. I'll leave a link below. And I just want to thank Benedict once again for the discount he gave me on this. And it's a pretty nice um, upgraded frame for your Hubs X4. Um, please subscribe if you aren't already. And give this video a like and tell me any comments, you questions you have down below. And I'll see you next video. Bye.